Neanderthal technology incorporated many of the techniques of previous cultures. They used flake knives and the quintessential hand axe, but they came up with a new technique, Lavawa flaking technique. It was unique because it required careful preparation of the core and a platform to create a large, razor-sharp triangular flake. Today I'm going to demonstrate how three of the primary Neanderthal tools, flake knives, hand axe, and the Lavalwa blade, could all be created from a single stone. It might just look like I'm smashing two rocks together, but if you observe carefully, you'll notice how I rotate the rock, carefully tap on the edges. The stone will only break at certain angles, and the flakes tend to follow certain contours. It also needs to be very thick, so that the edge will not simply crumble, and you can drive off large flakes. Here I've got my first Levalua blade of the day. Make it into a point, just needs a little touch-up, a little tapping on the forward point. You can also do this with the antler tine of a deer, but I like percussion flake. It's a lot of fun. While Rodney described cutting down trees with stone axes, <laughs> always tapping. Kind of like what foot napping is. Kind of hypnotic, actually. Now we're about to get our second Neanderthal point of the day. Just going to follow that contour. Actually, we don't know that they were always used for points. They may have been used as knives as well. But we do know some of them were because we find natural fiberglass where they've been hafted onto thrusting spears, either with heavily prepared birch resin or uh, natural tar asphalt. Now time to turn the core into a hand axe. Hand axe is, other than the old von pebble tools, is one of the oldest technologies. And we don't really know what those were used for either. Maybe breaking bones open for bone marrow. I'm just going to finish reducing the core until I pretty much can't do anything more with it. At least not with percussion flaking. So we'll get as many flake tools as we can out of it and a somewhat thinner biface. Remarkable that all these stone tools came from a single stone. Each one of them is razor sharp, sharp enough and tough enough to butcher a whole deer. Now get out there and try to make some Levalo plays yourself. You might change your opinion on Neanderthals.